Hi, it's Redheaded Riding Hood here, Red for short. I'm going to read you William Barclay's Daily Celebration. This is No Easy Way, Part 2. It is a characteristic of all of us that we want an easy way to success in life and in living. A man came to James Agate, who who in his lifetime was probably the most distinguished of all dramatic critics, and asked him for the secret of how to become a dramatic critic. James Agate's reply was that he must study the works of about 30 great dramatists to see what great drama is before he dared to become a critic at all. The man objected that he would be at least 40 before he had got through the list. Agate's reply was, you must be at least 40 before your opinions have any value. No man can reach the greatness without the toil. The truth is that toil is the coin which pays for everything. It is a lesson we need to learn. We need to learn it in the social and the economic sphere. It is impossible to build up a stable society and a stable system without some kind of sacrifice. We are today living in a society where most people do no less than claim the right to be cushioned and insulated against all effort and all sacrifice. The aim is for more pay for shorter hours. Whenever the cost of living goes up, the cry is that wages, pay, and salary should go up with it. Um, this reminds me of the stuff that Carol talks about. The odd thing today is that people claim a right not so much to do to a living as to luxury. But the fact remains that no stable system of life or society can ever be built in any civilization where the element of sacrifice has been completely eliminated. Need to work. The aim at luxury is a right, as a right is to end in disaster as a result. We need to learn it in the religious and spiritual sphere. We cannot live the Christian life unless we work at it. Paul would have been the first to agree that the faith which does not issue in works is not faith at all. Paul would have been the first to insist that if grace is the greatest gift in the world, grace is also the greatest responsibility in the world. The kingdom of heaven, said James Denny, is not for the well-meaning, but for the desperate. It is maybe time that we begin to learn the lesson that there is only one way that a man can go without an effort, and that is downhill. The way to the stars is steep. Yeah. It's my last day at work. I work noon till the pool closes at 7.15. So um, I'm kind of excited. Um, this is going to be the start of a new chapter for me. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, that's all for today. <laughs> Don't say that no one cares for you because I do and God does too. Don't forget to pray for Red because Red is praying for you. Bye.